So something a little different, we're going to go out on the town. So first of all, you can see here in the train station, people on the way home, slurping up their noodles. I guess they don't get fed when they go home. But I'm not going to eat there. No, I'm not eating that junk. I think I'll make my way to the food court in the station. Where I can get some really nice noodles. Yakisoba noodles, that is. It's around about 7pm when this video was shot and as you can see there are not many people out which is kind of strange for a Saturday evening. So this is the place I like to go to when I'm going out on the town. It's my favourite yaki soba place. All the guys are wearing the local football team's sweaters. I guess they're trying to support the team. And as you can see on the menu, just yakisoba. And this is yakisoba. Nice little bit of pork as well there. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Basically it's string beans, um, noodles and pork with a lovely sauce. As you can see, I ate it all up. That dish cost me 1,000 yen. Okay, so before I make my way to my favorite bar, let's take a look around some of the night areas of Kolkata City. So in case you haven't guessed, we're in the main train station here. And considering this is not a big city, it does have a fairly big train station. Korean burger place there, Lotteria. Oh, well, you could have McDonald's. This is the actual station where the department store bolted on, and as you can see, it's pretty big. And that's mainly because it's got a hotel above it as well. It actually goes far over to the right hand side, which you can't see on this video. Okay, so let's take a look down the uh, side streets where a lot of people go to eat and drink. Down here it's pretty clean. Well, not pretty clean, it is clean. And loads of lovely places where you can get some delicious food and a good drink. Maybe a little bit expensive, but you know, the atmosphere is really good. people enjoying some food outside there. By the way, this night, it was probably around about mm, maybe 27 degrees. So while I was waiting to cross over the road, we had the lovely roar of that engine. Just listen to that. It's lovely. You can still hear it as you're walking down the street.
So like I said, it was a little bit early for this place to be busy, you know, it's around about 7.30 by this point. Uh, this place doesn't really pick up till about 8.30, 9pm. Quite a nice looking uh, izakaya there. Izakaya is basically where you buy snacks, well, cooked meals, you know, like chicken on a stick, things like that, and alcohol. As you can see there, there's um, quite a few places just in that one building. That type of uh, building is very popular in Japan. And this building, while looking very sleek and very nice, may be run by Yakuza. And the reason I say that is because we're now walking into the sleazy part of the town. Now I had to be careful filming down here. All these guys standing outside are basically there to beckon you into the bar. And all these places are pretty much run by the Yakuza. So um, you don't want to piss anybody off down here. But mind you, to be honest, it's fairly safe. I mean, they don't really um, bother the average man on the street. Especially if you're a foreigner. Now, why am I down in the sleazy part? Well, that's because my uh, drinking hole of choice is down here. Not that it's sleazy or anything. You see a couple of dodgy guys over there. Come in, see our girls, blah, blah, blah. So if you're walking down the street around about, I don't know, 10 p.m. at night, it really is bustling. And my drinking hall of choice is in this building right here. On the second floor. All these doors leading off the aisle are, are all different bars. Hey, yep, that's Bob, the owner of the bar. Now I gotta be really careful here because Japanese companies, record, Japanese record companies, really like to crack down on um, copyright of infringement. So I gotta kind of talk over all these people singing karaoke. You can see somebody's doing the Evangelion theme there. <laughs> now it's around about midnight at this point and you know the bar's really picking up. Right, these, these two idiots, they're always drunk. If you ever see them around, you want to avoid them. It's, see, this guy thinks he's a Nazi or something. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's crazy. Yeah, that's uh, David and uh, Kyle there. Two good drinking buddies. And yep, they're on the karaoke again. In fact, this thing's going on all night. So yeah, we spend the entire night there at the bar. Um, basically we leave at 5.30 in the morning and here I am back in the city where I live um, looking for my bike because you know you can't drink and drive. It's now around about 6 o'clock in the morning and um, I got to push this bike all the way home. <laughs> 